Welcome guys for another season of Rainbow Six Siege. This season's name is Twin Shells this time. What will this season have in store for us? Well, let's talk some more. Let's talk about the important stuff first. How are they going to combat the cheaters for the new season? They are going to be putting in something called binary hardening, which is going to make it harder for the cheat makers to get access to the game, which they explained really, really well. Think the game as a giant library where a cheat maker is trying to find a specific book, for example, Wallhack. What Siege is doing is changing the place of where the book is located as much as they can, and they are even going to change the shelves in the tile library, aka the game. So it confuses and makes it harder for the cheat makers, so they can't make more cheats. Will it work? Well, we have to see. But remember, you will not see results overnight. Give them time to make it work. They do have more than one security, more than Battle Eye as we know. They have six detection system and they are running all the time and also trying to improve the system as well. Now, let's talk about the new game mode called Siege Cup. If you want to play more competitive than ranked, then this is for you. It's a good way to see if you and your friends have what it takes to go beyond the ranks. This cap is going to be in beta and only for PC players. And that's because if a problem arises, they can deal with it much faster. So for console players, I'm sorry, we have to wait a little bit longer. Use this QR code to sign up for your team. And remember, you need to be a 5 stack so you can't solo in this tournament. Another thing that they are bringing into the game is new currency, which is competitive coins. Now you can only get those coins through the Siege Cup or through ranks. And what will they give you? They will give you some unique skins in the game. Will it be a good thing? I'm not sure. They are also introducing a shooting range that you can jump into while you're waiting for a game. Not sure how long you need to wait for a game nowadays, but this is a good thing to keep you on your toes. While talking about shooting range, they have added a new warm-up, which is shooting dummies with covers. So now you can practice your aim when they are coming out for the covers, which is very good. Something that's gonna change is our post-action card. Instead of flipping through to see all the information, who we killed, how much elo we get, everything will be in one scene. You will be also able to see what KD you got during the game, which is kind of cool to see. To be honest, I'm not surprised about this one. They are going to be pushing back the repetition system again. And they are going to do an overhaul on it, because it's still a system that is not reliable today. Let's now talk about versus AI. Now they are going to be releasing AI on the attacking side, which means you as a player can go in in defense and face off AI on attacking. The operator they are releasing on the attacking side is Fermite, Sludge, Ash, Thatcher and Nomad. And you as a player on defense can choose between 16 operators and that includes the new operator Scopus. We have seen that 1 vs 1 has gained a lot of popularity lately, so they are adding a custom game mode 1 vs 1. You can choose between a short match, which is first to 4 rounds with 1 overtime, or the long match, which is first to 8 rounds with 3 overtime. And the prep phase is 20 seconds and you change sides every round. So who do you want to do a 1 vs 1 with? Now let's talk about the new operator who got a little changed for the new season. Let's start with Solis. Whenever you use her gadget, you will be able to see immediately what gadget the enemy are using. For instance, like a drone or a claymore. But now you will not be able to see them since they are going to be unidentified. To see them, you will need to use her so-called overclock to see them. And when using that overclock, your timer will get refreshed as well. When using her gadget, the enemy will get a warning that a Solus is nearby, but only through observation tools like drones. With this change on her, people will definitely play her more again. 
the next one to receive changes for this season is Tokebi. Tokebi will start the round with having zero calls. She will receive one call every 45 seconds in the round with having only max two calls per round. It's a simple change. Don't know what I feel about it to be honest, but time will tell. The last one who got a change with a huge buff is Nook. What they did is changing her gadget from being a time-based to an energy-based timer instead. Which means slow walking will almost take no energy, while running or shooting will take a lot more energy from her gadget. She will be able to stay in one spot for a longer time without getting detected from the cams. I think this is a good idea and she will definitely be played more. With the changes to Nook, they have also announced that the gun that Nook and Smoke uses, the FMG9, will get a buff. They have removed the recoil on that gun, which is crazy. I will be sure to try it out a little bit more, but it's going to be fun. Some other small changes that they have also made is introducing motion blur. So if you don't like to have any shakiness when you're getting shot, then you need to turn this off. Except for the motion blur, you will be able to take off the annoying yellow dot in your locker. Now you can press the button that says mark all scene. They are also updating the caster card, which is going to be available in the match replay. And when it comes to match replay, you will be able to see the replay for team death match as well. Now let's talk about the new operator that we are dying to know more. Her name is Scopus and she's from Greece. She uses two robots named Talos and Colossus, which is a two speed and two armor. Her primary weapon is also a new gun in the game and it's an assault rifle named PCX-33. Her secondary is a pistol P229, which Hibana and Goyu, Grim and Echo uses. Along with these weapons, she also has impact and a proxy alarm. These robots are immune to smoke gadget, also docks healing, and Fenris Ethna, and can't get downed either. Beware that two robots doesn't mean you have two lives. If you die while in combat, you will die. But if your robot is idle and it dies while you're on the other robot, you will still be alive. While her robot is in idle position, you can use any explosive to destroy it, like a florist drone or a nade. You can even use Brava to hack that idle robot. Will this operator bring something new to the season? Yeah, I think so. It's a fun operator to play and almost operator where I cannot do what I troll with, but uh, I'm definitely going to be trying her out more. Something that they added on for the attacking side is giving the drones a little bit of a boost. Will it make a difference to make the drones a little bit faster? I don't know, but it could be fun using during the round. So this was all guys. I'm not sure, are you still going to be playing Dokibi or Solis in for the next season? I'm not sure, to be honest. But guys, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel as well to stay updated for future videos. And guys, I wish you an amazing day, morning, night, wherever you are. And I will see you on the next one. Bye!